I find the, the coffee shops and patisseries always very interesting architecturally. We're just more keen for a walk, really, Andy, to be honest, uh, just to get out of the hotel, stretch the legs, yeah. you know. Greg, welcome back. Um, did you have a nice Christmas break? Uh, it was great, thank you very much. Uh, had a, a Christmas spine, so managed to have the weekend off with the family, which was which was nice. Doesn't always come around that way, so yeah, it was brilliant. Thank you, and happy New Year to you. Oh, thank you, and happy New Year to you. Um, obviously, it's a difficult December um, for the team. Is it difficult watching it from the sidelines? Yeah, it's always frustrating, isn't it, when you you know you're not in the in the changing rooms or not around the team where you you know you want to be having an impact on the environment and contributing, but. You know the, the lads have made a thick stuff, and you know nobody's happy with how December went. But you know the good thing about rugby is there's another game coming this week and the week after where we can get it right. And you come back into the squad, and the team starts winning again. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything, but I am one from one since our bad run. So, yeah. um, good to be back, though. Yeah, look, as I say, it's, it's very frustrating when you you can't get in the mix, and uh, at least when you're part of it, you feel that you can, you know, have an impact on that. Um, trip to to Cast to France this weekend. How is your French? Bur petit peu. Uh, no, no, that's that's all I've got. Uh, you know, I do like going to France. I find the the coffee shops and patisseries always very interesting architecturally. Um, it's always worth having a little front row tour just down to see what's there. Um, Who would be the, the social secretary then um, when you sort of look in for the coffee shops and the patisseries? Um, well, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably be yeah. I'd probably have a little look on Google on the way there and see what we could find, and then I'll, I'll message a few key individuals and see if they're who I know are up for it, and then I'll I'll assess when we get there. Are they all front rowers who are up for it? It is mainly the chunkier lads that would be keener for a. We're just more keen for a walk, really, Andy. To be honest, uh, just to get out of the hotel, stretch the legs, yeah. you know. A bit of sightseeing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And cultural exchange. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Um, European um, fixtures in, in France, notoriously physical. What, what, what do you expect at the, at the weekend? Uh, well, I think we, we played very well when we played them at home, except for the last 20 minutes. Uh, we, we were pretty poor in that back half of the game, which is always difficult when you go so far up. But um, French teams are very proud. They're particularly good at home. And they're, they're going to want to make amends for, for their performance over here. So we're, we're expecting a very big physical battle and we're preparing this week to, to meet that. Um, and there was talk after the, the game at the weekend about, about using that as a platform now to build on for the second part of the season for yourselves. Yeah, I suppose so. I think oh, you know, we didn't play how we wanted to play. We didn't you know, put the performance in for 80 minutes that we wanted to put in. Uh, but... You know, we got those four points that, that Matt is talking about, and that's what's hopefully going to get us back on track. And as you said, next door it is a very tight middle of the table this year, so we're really not very far away from being back where we want to be in the league. For more highlights and interviews, stay tuned to LT TV.